everyone, welcome back to the second episode of Finished in 5, where we are going to go through the Marvel United X-Men Kickstarter core game. And we're going to primarily paint these guys with Army Painter Speed Paint. So the most important part to using Speed Paint is getting a nice Zenithal Primer. So you can see here on Wolverine that we have a fairly aggressive one. And I say aggressive because you're going to see that there's a lot of black areas still showing. So the first color we're going to use here is Zealot Yellow. And when I'm using the speed paints, I like to start out with the lightest color and then work my way up into the darker ones. It's a little bit easier to hide any mistakes that you may make if you start out with the light colors. So we're going to paint most of his bodysuit here, uh, his top, his legs with that yellow. And once we see his back here, you can see where that Zenithal is really going to come into play. Look at those back muscles. Next color up is going to be Crusader skin, and we're going to do the area around his eyes, and his mouth, and his arms. And that's the only skin that is shown here on Wolverine. We're going to come in here with some High Lord Blue, and we're going to do the tops of his shoulders. I guess it's like a shoulder cap, or a pad, or whatever the top of his shoulder is called right there. We're going to do that. We're going to do his trunks around his, uh, his butt. And then we're going to come back in, we're going to do his gloves, and we're going to finish off by painting his boots. And with the boots, we're going to make sure that we don't get, or try not to get, anything onto that cloud underneath of him. Because we're going to come in later and do some crazy stuff with some blending. So make sure you guys stay around for that to see how that works out. So take the time and do that. I made a little bit of a mistake here, so I'm going to come in with some white. This is spirit white, it's just their regular white and we're going to cover up where we made a mistake at. With those light colors out of the way, we're going to start out with the darks. So we got Grim Black, and we're going to paint the area around his mask. Again, being careful not to get that into the Crusader skin around the eyeball there, or around his cheeks. So we'll paint his mask. We'll paint the lines on his bodysuit. Again, trying to be careful and not get that into any of that Zealot Yellow, and we'll lose all the nice transition that we have and we'll finish off the Grim Black by painting the tops of his boots. We got a little bit of blood red and we're going to paint his belt. All around there. Got a little bit of red on the yellow, so we'll take a wet brush and lightly, lightly dot that off. And we didn't get it there ever. We're going to take some blood red now, and this is where it gets crazy. We're going to try and wet blend this speed paint onto this cloud or explosion or whatever he's jumping off top of. So we're going to take that around the bottom of it, come in with some fire giant orange, and try and transition that as a mid-tone, just around the middle of the explosion. Now we're going to come back with zealot yellow that we used on his bodysuit originally, and we're going to paint the tips of all these explosions, and then, you know, you can just slop it all over to try and get that as one per piece of explosion. And when it's done, it actually came out pretty cool. Wait till you see how it dries. We're gonna take some silver now. This is the Claymore Blade from the Zombie Side set. It's just a nice light silver. We're gonna paint his claws and the tubing part of the base down there. Remember from Cyclops, when you put the speed paint over top of uh, metal, it makes a cool effect. We're gonna take some blood red and drop it there into his mouth. And this is something that I don't regret, but I wouldn't take the time to do it if I had to go back and repaint him. I took Holy White and I painted it over top of that Claymore blade to see if I could get like a really nice, light, almost white uh, metallic color. It just didn't dry the way that I thought it would, so I might not dry that again. Here we're going to take some white ink and we're going to dot in his teeth and his pupils. Got some grim black now, and we're going to paint over the entire base. So everything uh, that is not the explosion, including the metallic part there. And you can see that some of that explosion kind of got all over that, and I didn't take the time to go back with white and cover it. And it gave me a nice object source lighting. Took some dead black, or a regular black, painted his arm here. And because Wolverine's a character, a good guy, we're going to paint his rim blue. So now he's all finished. We are finished in five. Give him a good 360 here so you can see how that Zenithal and that speed paint 
really brought this character to life in no time. And look at that wet blending on the explosion. That came out a lot better than I expected it to. Now we're going to pop him off of the hobby holder, put him in the case. And that's another character from the core set down. Guys, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. we got a lot of miniatures to paint here with speed paint. Let me know in the comments if you have this game, if you're using the speed paint, what you think about it. And uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.